everyone. Welcome to our second Raise the Bar slot of the Future You Week. I hope you've been enjoying all the activities this week. So we've had great guests. And again, we have a wonderful guest here today, our VIP guest, Katia Martins. Thank She's you. the CEO of L'Oreal Portugal. And we will take the opportunity to be joined by André Nef de Brito, Thank you very much. who was here yesterday already, and who will be preparing some cocktails and mocktails dedicated to Katia, and which you can also prepare yourselves at home. Uh, it's not risky, no. no. And you always have a choice, of course, to, to choose the cocktail you prefer, the, the one with alcohol, or also the mocktail without alcohol, so that you don't say that I'm recommending students here at ISEC to, to drink, drink, to drink, at 6 to drink but at 6 p.m. it's not such a bad time, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> a nice drink at the end of the day is not a bad idea. So I'm very happy to have Katya with us before we actually start the practical component of this for several reasons, because she is a leader in a company that's very well known in Portugal and everywhere in the world as a top employer, one of the most attractive employers in the world. So people who work at L'Oreal say that they're very happy to work there. So I think this is a wonderful example of a company that probably our students are interested in knowing more about. So we will definitely get some questions from home as well. And Katya will have an opportunity to explain what L'Oreal is about, what are the different sectors in which the um, subunits in which the company operates. And also because it's a multinational company with a European base. Mm -hmm. And Katya has this wonderful international uh, CV. Mm -hmm. She has been working in different places. So, so just telling us that story of what happened when she started studying and what she thought she would do in her life, if this was really her dream job or if things happened by chance. So I think that's an interesting topic of conversation. And then, of course, we will also talk a little bit about the current conditions in the market and all that. But to start with, just to say thank you so much for thank being you. here. Katya is not a former student of ISEG because we are, of course, a school that is open to everywhere, everyone who is a good professional in the markets, and we're delighted to welcome you here. She also is a member of the strategic board of our ISEG MBA, which is also very good because many times you don't find so many women leaders that you can actually have and host in your organization. So she's also a very good example of that as well. And I'll stop talking right now. And um, <laughs> I will ask Katya just to introduce herself, perhaps just to, to start with. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Clara, so much for um, inviting me here to be here today in this uh, so different and uh, <laughs> interesting uh, careers forum uh, idea. I think it's a very uh, interesting uh, um, activity you're having these days. And I hope I can uh, inspire you in some way uh, at the end of this one hour cocktail, yes. mocktail, cocktail, mocktail, discussion, drinking, etc. <laughs> so my name is Katia. I'm Portuguese and I've spent uh, actually half of my life in L'Oreal. So 50% of my time has been uh, spent in this company which is a beauty company. So our mission is really to, uh, to give beauty to, uh, to everyone. And beauty is not only about the, the, the surface of it, it's really in-depth, something very in-depth. So we can really touch the people's life uh, with the products and services that we provide. Mm -hmm. Then I've had the chance to work in four different countries throughout these uh, 21 years at, uh, at L'Oreal. So I started as a, a stagiaire, uh, intern, intern, as an intern, no. as an intern in L'Oreal Portugal. I did 11 years of marketing. So my background, my college background is marketing and advertising. And after 11 years in which I did all the steps like uh, product manager, group manager, uh, marketing director, I then moved to Paris. And in Paris, I was lucky enough to be in this beautiful city, which is Paris, <laughs> and to work for Latin America, meaning that I was traveling every month twice to Latin America, either to Brazil, Argentina, Mexico, uh, Chile, uh, to help the teams uh, um, leading the marketing, uh, the marketing area to improve their strategies, etc. So it was very interesting because I have this uh, best of two worlds to be living in a, in a great city, a city that I love, and actually to be traveling and meeting new cultures. It was a little bit like uh, an MBA for me because yeah. it was really... Uh, very uh, 
open the minding, let's say, so yes. to see all these different markets, markets consumers, different people in different people, markets, competition, etc. Yeah. And still to be based in a place which I loved. Voilà. Then after this, I was invited to go to Brazil. Mm -hmm. So I lived uh, the next two and a half years in Rio de Janeiro, in which I was the general manager for three brands. So Garnier, Maybelline, uh, Colorama. And, uh, and at the end of my mission, I was, again, lucky enough uh, to, uh, to take, um, to, to replace someone who was in maternity leave. So I was for eight months ahead of the commercial team. So it was my first experience mm. in commercial. And actually it was uh, not really uh, an experience because it was, uh, there you go, now you're ahead Just of the go. boat, <laughs> do your best. And I was like, okay, it's great for me, not sure for L'Oreal, but everything went, uh, went well, and in eight months you cannot destroy a lot. So no. voila, well, so it was quite uh, very interesting. Then I asked to come back home. So I came back to Portugal in 2015, I guess. Yeah. And here I discovered uh, another division of L'Oreal. So L'Oreal has four different uh, uh, divisions or business units, let's say. You have the mass market, uh, so fast moving consumer goods. And then you have the professional division, which is everything which is uh, uh, driven by hairdressers, uh, spas, okay. etc. Okay. Then you have the pharmaceutical uh, sector. So all the pharmacies, para pharmacies uh, uh, are included inside. And then the last one is uh, the selective division, the luxury division, in which you find brands like uh, Armani, Lancome, um, and all the, all the all the luxury brands that you can uh, imagine. We have 37 brands in home at home, uh, in house, let's say worldwide. Mm -hmm. So it's really a, a temple of beauty. Um, it's a pretty glamorous place to work in, is it? Or you don't feel it because there is a lot of pressure you feel from it, the mass No, no, no. You feel it because you live and breathe the products, mm. but it's uh, you know it's very very competitive because ah, the market is very competitive. So it's, uh, it's glamorous, but it's very uh, busy, competitive at the same time. Okay. Just to finish tough. on my, it's tough. Right. Just to finish on my, uh, on my life at L'Oreal. So after this uh, experience in the professional division in Portugal, I then moved to Italy, to Milano, to handle the same division in, uh, in, um, in Italy. And then I moved back as the CEO of L'Oreal Portugal two and a half years ago, uh, which is a position I still hold today. Et voilà. Absolutely. So That's a very a... good summary, yeah? And you were able to tell us also about the company as well, the different si. areas and all that. So that's, that's very good. So, um, and now, I think it's a good moment before we talk in more detail about the different areas of L'Oreal and the current conditions of the market, how you've been affected mm -hmm. and all that, and your plans for recruitment, all those things that our students are also interested in hearing about. I think it's a good moment to... Make Give the cocktails. words to make cocktails. To yes. make cocktails. Yes, absolutely. So that's much. also so that you don't so that you don't fall asleep at home because you've been very busy the whole day, we can imagine. Yes. So, <laughs> so let's let's do start some. cocktails with a okay. cocktail with uh, at, uh, our guest names. It's Katia Martinez cocktail. <laughs> it's inspired in the Katia Martinez ingredient, that is lemon. Okay, so we asked Katya beforehand, <laughs> just tell me one ingredient. And Katya mentioned lemon. Perhaps she was thinking she would be having a lemonade. But <laughs> no, 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 no. Here at this egg, you need so, to try more than that. Prepared, uh, cocktail, I invited Katya. If okay, can. okay. Yeah. Yeah. We just need to. Yes. Okay. Yep, I will do it alone. Yes. Ah, ah that's a, so today we have a different strategy. Yes. Okay. So, first of all, uh, the cocktail. I, you have three caps. Uh, Keep my distance. I want this one. Yes. It's more here. So yeah. This is our cup, so please, it's here. For this cocktail, the technique that we use is shake. So, for this... Have you ever done this shake. before? No. Katya, no? <laughs> well, <laughs> good it will be great. So, at home, if, uh, to, to, to make this cocktail, to, to shake this cocktail, you can use the sausage jars or something. If that you don't have a prop, the proper equipment. Yes, maybe you have it, maybe you don't have it. Sausage jar? Like the sausage yeah. jar, the yeah. Sauce, sausage. So okay. that if you don't have, so that you have a lid that you can close <laughs> it right. properly and shake it, okay. I guess. So, 
the first ingredient that we uh, put in the cocktail is um, blackberries or raspberries. Okay. We use uh, raspberries. Why yes, do we have? we have this one. Okay. Yes, How many? Five. Five. Uh, yes. okay. uh, where? In the big, in the big, big one. Thing. Okay. Five raspberries. Okay. okay. You can, uh, can you can you guys ah. see? So so far, yes. so you have the voila. You have the the raspberries. Uh, you say you said uh, the voila L'Oréal. Ah, sorry. It's, our language is a very important requirement for a company like yours. It's English. It's English. The working language is English, is English. permanently. Yeah. Then it, as it, I as I live in every country. In every country. Mm -hmm. So okay. it, it's the local language, and, and when you English. speak to global. The, um, the working language is English, is English. For good to know. For this cocktail, it's a squeezer. Okay. So we squeeze uh, 20, uh, 20 milliliters of lemon. <laughs> good for, don't okay. worry, don't worry. You have lemon. the lemon. The yes. lemon, yes. They're very brave, Good Katya. And, uh, no, another side. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so, so we you put the, the so you cut the, the lemon in no, half. No, 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 here, but the turn it, turn it, you turn ah. it down. Yes. It doesn't Sorry. look very natural. Yes. Like this? Don't and like this? Okay. Yes. yes. And squeeze. I'll inside. hold I'll hold the cup just in case. I can you never know. I can. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's very yeah, yeah. It's... you better do this and that. Oh, you're strong. Ah, yeah. you're strong. I don't, I don't no, know. No, I will do it. Oh, sorry. Of course. <laughs> you see? And it's when you see people in action. Oh my god, I'm destroying them, I think. <laughs> That you understand some of the qualities of leadership. Yeah. <laughs> that you don't really say no very easily. No. I can do it. <laughs> I try. Can you I? take the yes. opportunity. And um, you're always cool about things. You never, <laughs> you never well, let try. other people know, okay. you know what your insecurities are when you're working. Like now. So. Very good. So, so the lemon. Half a lemon squeezed. No, one lemon. One, one, one lemon, lemon You did the second. We did yeah. the second half. You okay, can you can also hand. squeeze it with your uh, thingy. Yes. That the little machine. Yes, it's the little, it's <laughs> the little machine. Or you can squeeze or it with the... your hand or with your knife, something yeah, like that. Yeah, just get the juice. Exactly. And, and then, is, that, is this going to be very bitter? No, because we put a, a sugar. sugar. Ah, okay. Sugar, it's not an ingredient that we make the cocktails more sweet. The sugar, it's the ingredient that um, um, creates. Balance. Yes, create balance, exactly. Create balance in our <laughs> because in this cocktail we use gin. Gin is very dry. Lemon it's very bitter. So we need uh, something to balance our, all the ingredients. It's a little bit like making a cosmetics. Like so, what so what a is cream? That? You know, you need to adjust everything, all the ingredients. So, so you know that part as well. No, actually, in our company, the place in which we invest the most, it's really in research. Research sure. uh, yeah, for so formulas, like, uh, ingredients. So people so it's really uh, of chemistry and yes. pharmaceuticals yeah. from that industry. Yes, mm -hmm. of course, because you need to have good products. Yes, that way. and then it's the blend and the mixture and the quality of the ingredients that makes the difference at the end of the day. But then there is also the component of market research to understand what yes. people want and what people need. And, yeah. um, and what people don't know they will need. Absolutely. Which is more interesting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good. No, no. So, sugar, we use 20 milliliters of sugar. So, we have this, uh, this jigger, it's a measure. At home, uh, as we <laughs> said yesterday, we can, you can use a um, coffee cup. Coffee cup. I learned my yeah. lesson yesterday. <laughs> coffee cup. Coffee cup has, has more or less uh, 50 milliliters, 60 milliliters. Uh, okay, okay, what's okay? It's this one. Yeah, we, we, and we, for 25 milliliters, we use half coffee cup. So, this measure. This is the sugar? Yes, it's liquid sugar. Liquid, liquid, liquid sugar. sugar. But at home, you can use normal sugar. It's the same. And then you don't feel the, make the, the grains? sugar liquid. Yesterday, you told me that you put the normal sugar and water. But the measures of that are it's what? Two parts of sugar. Two parts of sugar. Parts of sugar. Uh, it's the complete uh, yes, thing? Yes, Okay. But it's almost it's all water. Sugar. It's almost zero sugar. <laughs> yeah. In the end, it's almost zero sugar. sugar it's like a little bit of water. sugar, yes. two little exactly. teaspoons uh -huh. of sugar. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very good. So, the main guest is Jim. Can use 
the big measure. Okay. Be, be careful, yes. Don't worry. I will not put it full because I don't like it to, to be too, too um, alcoholic. Yes. Yeah, voilà. yeah, so okay, I, I do my own... Uh... Your own measures. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> we, we forget one ingredient. It's white wine. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's let's not put the. No, no, no. We're we put, are putting yes, the white yes, wine, yes. But then you don't need to drink everything. Uh, it's like a drink that you can drink uh, the whole night. Yes, you can make the it. Drink, so it's a long drink. The cocktail. It's is, this, the, is this a long drink? What no, you call a long? Is, it is it's not. Different. Long drink. It's, it's the vodka with orange juice, uh, vodka with color, whiskey with Seven Up, something like that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. This is a proper cocktail. Yes. Okay. Proper. So See put, the <laughs> things we learn here. <laughs> things you learn at school Just these days. Just milliliters of white wine. And the ten? Uh, yes. The, is this yes. side? Don't worry. It's half. Okay. Just half. All right. Same as sugar. Uh, yes. More or less. Half this. Yes. Half of that. We have. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Pronto. Okay. The same as sugar is a, a good point because alcohol has sugar. Right. So the, sh the, the, the cocktail has sh liquid sugar, sugar in alcohol, and lemon juice don't have sugar. Mm. But have sugar or in fruits. So right. it's a very um, caloric thing. Caloric thing. Yes. <laughs> so, so be careful. I came walking. Yeah, then you, yes, came walking and you're so going I back will, walking. Uh, yeah, yes. Maybe run a little bit. Yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. So then so, you do your usual four piece of, of ice. exercise. Uh, yes. with four these pieces yeah. of ice. Yeah. Cubes of ice. Like this. Yeah. Very mm. good. Ah, very nice. Oh, huh? very nice. Yeah. This is ice. You're, you're, yes. You're gifted. Yeah. Yeah, pronto. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're hired, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking of yes, a career. Yes, oh yes. my God. And so now, sorry. yes. And now, shake it. She's a natural. Katya, you're like a natural. This? Nah, you need more. You need more yeah, than need that. More you need more than you. that. You know, I saw yesterday. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. That's very good. Eh? You need a, yes. No, no. <laughs> this yes. will all be recorded. You know that. You know, <laughs> you know that this is being recorded and people will see this at L'Oreal. <laughs> Who knows? I don't think I'm doing anything. No, uh, I'm no, not no. doing you a crime. No, no, no. You <laughs> should be proud, actually. Yes. Yeah, now he does some. Look at that. Yeah. Now, uh, a yeah. nice way to no, say no, 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 uh, you did a bad job. No, no, Can no. Can I no. finish it? It's impossible it? to do it like that. Yeah, it's impossible to do it like him. It's practice. Practice makes perfect. That's very good. So, for use this one. Mm -hmm. ah. And, no, no. You? Oh, yes. you need that. And this one. So. How, what's all this happening? What? It's happening. Why, why, this, why are we no, doing no, no, this no, no, and no, no, not no. just yesterday when you prepared my yeah, stuff? Okay. We, we didn't need all that gear. Please. Why do we need all this today? And yet yesterday we didn't do it it's like a that. Different one. Different one. Yes, because in the third cocktail we use this technique. Because if you see. Okay. But yesterday I didn't see you preparing yes. the third cocktail, so it's if a good you thing. See the cocktails inside have crushed ice. And uh, the, 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 the raspberries, things, things, so things inside, things inside. If you see it, oh, thank you. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Ah, more or less. Quas. More or less. So okay. we don't uh, uh, want that in the, when you put in your mouth. Take. You don't want to, yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. So. <laughs> that's, that's universal language. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> You want to make it? Or? No, no, you can you you go can ahead. This, part. this looks very technical. You're doing perfectly. Yes. Look at that, the style. This, <laughs> this looks a bit more, because of that, it looks more sophisticated, the whole prep. It's because it's for you, Katya. A bit more sophistication. But what, what happened to the... Then you eat it with your with a spoon. But they are no here? one is watching afterwards. You eat they the here? stuff with the spoon, the, the remains. The raspberries are here. Raspberries has crushed it. Inside of the shaker and here. Mm. Yeah. You, see it? you can use it for something else. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I'm. I'm. Uh, you can try that now. Just, just, okay. Just to give us an idea, a little sip, just a little sip. Ah, there's a the garnish. I'm so sorry. And we are too hasty. It's uh, lemon. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. And the garnish, it's lemon with the raspberries. That's pretty. 
Ah. Oh, la la. That's <laughs> a little bridge. Yeah. Ah, that's pretty. Okay. That's pretty. So, See, this should, is the should Katia, I taste? The Katia yes. Martini cocktail. If you don't like it, remember that <laughs> You may <laughs> absolutely. Yes. That's a good. That's a good, that's a good uh, reminder. That's a good reminder. You're responsible for that. Yes, it's fabulous. Really? <laughs> Is it nice? That's very good. It's yeah, very good. I'll try so now I can home. go there. To, yeah. I stay yeah. here. Yeah. I go uh, there. Yeah. I made it to the mocktail. Oh, we can do. We can prepare the mocktail ah, as okay. well. But you, you can you can do it, uh, Andre. Yeah. Okay. So what and do I do? I it's just know. because of COVID and the distances. Yeah, the just, distance. Uh, yeah. So you move here, where I was. Here. We're we're doing stuff. Now you move here so that you're everywhere. You can have a seat as Andre explains good, the though. mocktail as well, because we know that people at home also want to. Very sweet. What? Yeah. No, it's What's good. the name of this one? Now I don't this have that, those cards. Sweet pepper. Sweet pepper. Yes. That sounds very good as well. Good because idea. You use um, honey. Mm. Uh, passion fruit and just a little bit of pepper. Ingredients that maybe you honey, can use. passion fruit, and yes. pepper. Who For would who would say you would mix honey with pepper? Yes, and passion fruit and, and passion fruit. Put, uh, drops, just a few drops of vinegar. Vinegar. Uh, yes, <laughs> that I wouldn't tell. Apple, apple, apple <clears throat> vinegar. Oh my God! Ah, oh, apple vinegar. Mm. Yes, it's. Okay. So let's do this. For this, we use the mm. liquid uh, passion fruit, but mm. you can use the all uh, passion fruit. One. One. Passion fruit. Yes. It's liquid. Liquid. Or you can use um, a concentrated juice of. Yeah, uh, that also works if you yes. have like yeah. Uh, so we put <coughs> just thirty milliliters. It's the same of one passion fruit. Yes. Honey. Mm -hmm. Normal honey. Okay. Same proportions or same no, no, no. same measure? Uh, half, a little bit it's half. 15 milliliters. Otherwise, it's too sweet. Like. Yes. Honey. This is probably good when you have like a cough, when you have a cold. Yeah. <laughs> this is a mocktail that also works for the um, the winter. <clears throat> you can use the gav to it's a gav. It's something natural, not... Uh... Yes, I have that. Bought it last week, actually. <laughs> what a coincidence. For the first time in my life, See? I went to one of those shops. Ah, Natura. Like Soleil or like Natura like or so on. I bought one of those things of Agave, actually. Funny enough. So, we put just a, a few pepper. Okay, a little bit. Yeah, okay. Just a little bit. Love pepper. Yes. You like pepper? Yes. Yeah. And vinegar, just... Vinegar in the mocktail. Yeah. Good luck, Good Clara. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I, I drink here <clears throat> with when the students are watching and all that. I always take the mocktail. But then when this finishes, you know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> the vinegar in the cocktail is the same um, of lemon juice in the um, another in this cocktail because it's the citrus. It's to keep that uh, yeah. citrus citric. Yeah. Like How good cocktail have the base? Sugar base, citrus base, and something alcoholic. alcoholic. Yes. So the sugar base, it's um, uh, honey. Mm. The citrus base is vinegar, and we have in this case we have a fruit. It's passion fruit. Passion fruit. Okay. So it's very a appropriate. Lot of ice. A lot of ice. And you're not doing it. I'll do it on. Um, you did it? No. I'm doing this on Friday. Okay. I'm doing this part a little bit. And it's the Zag mocktail. Because no. they changed the. Yeah, yeah, now they're changing the scenery. This so. time we put all inside of ah. our glasses. Okay. And now I have a drink too. No. No. What's happening now? Ah, it's a of ginger ale. Okay, ginger ale, like that too. Yeah, it's very I popular when I was a child. I think it's a lot of mixes. <laughs> mixes, we're mixing a lot of things. Uh, no. Keep it simple. <laughs> no, that's very nice. Very nice. Looks very Looks pretty. Fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's, pretty. It's yeah. A fresh cocktail because See? the vinegar 
it's uh, very fresh uh, product. In, uh, I would never I say would we would put vinegar vinegar in, in a, a cocktail. cocktail. Thinking about it, you wouldn't drink it if you no. knew, right? But it's but two um, got the two uh, drops drops only. Two drops, two drops of vinegar. Yeah, very good. For garnish. Garnish. Oh, yes. garnish. <laughs> uh, dry lime. Ah, mm. ah, that's very pretty. Right. And to get all these things, where do you get all these ingredients and all that? Is this something that you normally get from a supermarket anywhere, or how does yes, that work? It's normal to to found in supermarket. Okay. More special ingredients uh, like mm. uh, spices and uh, different spices. We have a multicultural uh, city in Lisbon. It's uh, like uh, near to Intendent. Yes, area. yes, yes. It's we know that area there. Like Martin uh, Muniz, Intendent, yeah, exactly. all that. Multicultural yeah. and we have uh, lots of flavor, lots of taste. Very, very good for there you go hotels. more exotic stuff yeah see i got a straw, a straw. it's very pretty I thank you like that's beautiful <coughs> okay thank you and now what we'll do is about now we will sit for a little while we talk and then we are back for the third cocktail he, he'll, he'll he'll prepare a third cocktail okay. and we'll join him again okay okay but first i'm going to try this as katya explains quite a few things because i have many many questions for you, so different experience in our lives. This, <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So um, I don't know if there are questions from home or not. Not yet. So I have my questions for you as well. This pandemic situation that we're living right now mm -hmm. has created lots of problems. Yeah. And when we were initially, when 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 the lockdown started, we actually we actually, actually exchanged, we exchanged some, some messages. Why? So that's another reason. I'll tell you a little bit of how I met Katya for the first time, because we are both members of the editorial board of a magazine called Executive Digest. And so, and we were basically the only two women attending those meetings. So there was a natural connection. connection. <laughs> so that was good. And, and we share some interests and all that. And during the lockdown, she was one of those people that, so how are you doing? Are you okay? How's things? And then she also gave me wonderful advice for my hair during the lockdown when the hairdressers were, <laughs> closed. Were, were closed. So that was also very good. So you go to the CEO of L'Oreal to ask <laughs> for advice on how, what, how to deal with your hair problems during the lockdown. But the part of, from that, we also talked about how business was affected. And it's different to think about the beauty market compared to which some people might think is not so essential, right? Compared to the health industry, which is more directly linked to the basic needs of someone, mm -hmm. perhaps, or to, the, to, the, to a supermarket mm -hmm. and all that. So the beauty industry might have been very affected. It was super affected, actually. Okay. Um, so we see, we see, well, actually, we have, as I explained, we have uh, four, we have four different divisions at the uh, inside L'Oreal, yes, and we have everything which is perfumeries and uh, hairdressers, everything was closed. So you cannot go to those places, right? So if you want to buy your perfume, your uh, skincare, luxury skincare, if you want to do your hair to have a cut, to do a color, you cannot no. anymore. Mm -hmm. So either you try to do those at home exactly. or to buy online. And the uh, beauty industry online is not very was not very developed in Portugal because we don't have pure players, pure beauty players in a, like in Portugal, Indeed, really, no, to international not. ones. So actually, for countries in which online was still small, the lockdown really hurts very much, very your much. Earnings, yes. So you need to try. So we had two divisions still with uh, with open doors like supermarkets, hypermarkets, and pharmacies. But even there, if you take pharmacies, you mm. were going to a pharmacy to buy medication not to buy your beauty products right you know because when you yes. see that even when you go to a supermarket everyone was buying the toilet paper oh like, yes uh, yes remember those days when everyone was saying that everyone's buying toilet paper so like toilet crazy paper, tuna, from the tuna, crazy. etc so really the 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 purchase of uh, beauty during the confinement was terrible it was very down you know, we have uh, for three months, our sales were quite, uh, quite uh, sharply down for two, for those two main reasons. Mm -hmm. One, because you could not have access to buying those products. Right. 
or the second one because you were not there your mindset you were super was scared with what's happening uh, and then you start when you start to uh, understand what's the pandemic all about uh, and you know how to behave you start liberating a little bit of your brain to the other side which is it might be beauty, My beauty and beauty be is uh, is health and beauty it's not only beauty of course, so you need shampoo you need the deodorants you need to shave you still need to do your color so you try to understand how can i do this at home so people become a little bit uh, speciali specialists of beauty at home absolutely and you had uh, you had an amazing thing because you had uh, uh, a digitalization of the industry which was quite uh, phenomenal Mm -hmm. either through uh, virtual consultations that were done, either through uh, virtual education that we gave to our clients, Absolutely. either through uh, even virtual business. Uh, business advice we were giving to our partners not mm -hmm. to uh, close their businesses right. because they could enter in bankruptcy. Yeah, you need to support um, them. Well, so it was quite um, was tough, but it was uh, three months. Now mm. we are in the in the curve of uh, you feel that that it's no 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 i see that on yeah. the numbers yeah so the numbers are helping <laughs> the so numbers are that. helping since yeah. uh, june so we are growing month after right month. because people i mean talking about beauty if you are locked at home if you don't meet your friends your colleagues there anything you, you don't, don't feel do the anymore. need to ex you don't expose yourself anymore there are, there are even things like the difference in part in in okay you use less people use less deodorants no? when they were confined at home when they stay at home when they stay at home some people didn't use perfume at all you know okay so you have those people who were dressing up every day as if it was a totally yeah. regular day but i'm staying at home yeah but the majority of people didn't do that you probably remember this at home when you were attending classes wearing your pajamas <laughs> probably that that happened i'm pretty sure without showing your faces in your cameras and, and, and that's what happens you just stay at home and, and, that, and, and now all of that is back Mm. You know, so you see people back to consumption, etc. And there's one category in which we still suffer a lot, which is makeup. Because makeup, when because you wear you, a mask, you wear a mask and no one sees voilà. you. So you need to make up your eyes beautifully, yes. because that's the the impact I that need you to can learn have how to do eyes. Uh, and you need to treat your skin because Absolutely. having the mask all day, you it's need terrible. to make sure you use a very good uh, either skincare fountain so that your your skin can breathe better. So okay. uh, beauty is not over at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just uh, have some uh, some uh, trends which already existed, which which become accelerated. Okay. And uh, and some other categories like makeup, you you need to do choices on the categories right. uh, you're playing around. So it's a very interesting time for marketeers, right? Uh, for business people also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So on marketeers, you need to find different insights and to uh, to make sure you can uh, push people back to uh, consumption mm -hmm. and create new uh, routines of consumption and for business people because you really need to to do this uh, take this opportunity to do a huge shift on digital okay and to make sure uh, you know we have this goal to reach 10% of digital in uh, in uh, 3 4 years plan uh, and we will do that next year so absolutely so that can really that be uh, uh, accelerated and yeah also, it's uh, who would say who would say that these changes would come so soon and so fast at this point in time um, and in terms of the, of the market throughout the world was was in different geographical areas was the the, um, the impact more or less the same it for example in asia compared to europe and it's very similar very, very similar. similar so one one trend that you see everywhere is that everyone who was painting uh, or dyeing their hair in the air so in the hairdresser they did it at, at home. home, so you had a boom of sales of uh, hair colorants uh, at Absolutely. home. So the ones you buy, like you like, did. like me, you I did, did excellent coloring. I yes, think. <laughs> I will be in the next campaign. Of <laughs> <laughs> um, you know. Then you see that makeup is really affected, yeah. and so countries in which makeup is a very uh, high penetrated category, they are being mm. hit big time, mm. um, and then much less impactive on uh, shampoos. Uh, gel douche uh, so because everything which is more hygiene wow. yes what about the luxury area so in the luxury was area that more affected than the mass market How's, it was how does super that work? affected really? when uh, you were in confinement mm -hmm. then if you take the north of europe for example okay. there is another phenomenon which is the travel retail so people are not traveling so Absolutely. the travel retail which is a huge driver of growth for our uh, is it for our group really asia and travel retail are 
So the voila, growing market. So this started in Asia and then uh, traveling was totally hit. Yeah. So, but in the Nordics, as these people were traveling a lot and they were buying in travel retail, actually now they are buying back home. So mm -hmm. these countries actually are, are um, experiencing high growth in their market. Okay. As opposite to Portugal, for example, yeah. in which we had a lot of tourism coming to Portugal right. or even Spain uh, or Italy, let's say. Right, right, you right. know, the global shopper doesn't exist anymore. So mm. these countries in south of Europe are more, more hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's you, you see in the local market replacing right. that. And rich right. people. So it's really uh, also linked to the to the geography of our population, let's say, right. the, the social uh, uh, right, footprint. So, mm. so tough times, but you see already some you improvement see. and so see. on. So there's hope that this market recovers better. And also, um, I'm sure that our students are interested also in asking you some questions. Okay. Um, so, so, so let's do that now before I continue with my own questions. And where should I right. look? It's in I this one? In this camera. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Mafalda. Hi. Uh, so we have some questions, and if the students haven't asked, you can still comment. So feel free. And the first question is: How people are working as to follow trends on beauty standards on different parts of the world? Okay. So what we do is that we have centrally we have uh, different hubs of of development. So we have one hub of development in Paris, another center in China, in Brazil. Um, so let's say these are the three main ones. And here people are uh, prospectively understanding what can become the next uh, beauty trend trends uh, in the world. And, uh, and it's these three because the consumers are really, re really, really very, very different in between Europe, Asia, um, I forgot to say North America and in Latin America, especially in Brazil, in which we work for the rest of the, the continent, let's say, mm. the Latin American mm -hmm. continent. Mm -hmm. So these people are working uh, with a quantitative, uh, huge um, studies to understand what can be the next uh, big trends. And one thing that we are doing much more now is social listening, because now everything changes like from night, nine, uh, night to, uh, to the morning. You know, it's a little bit like living in India. Uh, something which is true in the morning might be different uh, in the afternoon. So we really need to be much more um, uh, up to date and very regular in the follow ups that we are doing, namely with social social listening to understand what consumers mm. now feel like and are willing to to try to use and what they need, because that's really the context is so changing right. that we need to, we cannot wait for uh, studies, studies that take like six months to be ready uh, to dig on and then apply uh, new ingredients, new products, etc. Mm -hmm. That's very good. So before we move on to the next question, I have a question myself, which in a way might be related to this because it has to do with new trends and See? new concerns that people in different parts of the world might have. And sustainability, as you know, mm -hmm. is a big topic these days. Mm -hmm. And I know that L'Oreal does a lot of work. I saw you presenting something on that uh, some months ago. And I know that L'Oreal is actually doing a good job mm -hmm. in that front. And there are lots of initiatives and products that deal with that. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? See, si. so um, actually this is a, this is a, um, a journey that started uh, some years ago. It's already over 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it was called... Uh, um, uh, sharing beauty with all, mm -hmm. and inside this sharing beauty with all, you have uh, different pillars in which, uh, well, you have people and the way we manage people, treat people, human rights, ethics, etc. The way we work with people inside L'Oreal and outside L'Oreal. Mm -hmm. And this outside L'Oreal, uh, you can find, for instance, uh, uh, sustainable sourcing that we do. So if you take Brazil, for example, we are sourcing from uh, uh, from populations which are low income populations. Okay. And if uh, no one sources from them, they will disappear mm. like uh, in Indus, for yeah, example. So, yes. so, so this was something that we started like 10 years ago. And now we're evolving to something which is called L'Oreal for the Future, mm -hmm. which is a program which will last until uh, 2030 with very important uh, landmarks in terms of targets and we, in which, to be very easy to understand, you can find things like uh, zero water, um, 
fabricas, usines, yes. uh, factories, factories or plants, uh, factories. Yeah. So um, producing uh, only with uh, sourcing ingredients which are sustainable. Sustainable. Everything, yes, all organic. the packages can can need to be either recyclable, compostable, uh, reusable. Right. So we have all these metrics for all the 37 brands uh, that we have in house. This on the sides of on, on the side of products, for example, we also have a program which is to um, to help uh, women, uh, mm -hmm. which are still uh, uh, unfortunately, um, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, oh, badly treated, well, badly treated, so we have some violently uh, treated, yes. so packets of money to invest on that to make sure that we can help uh, disappearing that, mm -hmm. and you have all which is uh, ethics. Uh, corporate responsibility, uh, human rights described on this project and it's yes. something that we are launching in the beginning of next year uh, and that we will last for the next uh, decade. Yeah, that's very uh, good to know also because you know this younger generation we have hope that you also put pressure on companies to align their objectives with the mm -hmm. ones that really matter for, for the future. There are more questions from home, I know, so let's, let's listen to one of those. We haven't forgotten about you, Andre. We're just giving you a little break, but we'll be back. <laughs> okay, so we have, a, we have a few more questions. So Elizabeth asks, what characteristics are you looking for when hiring recent graduates? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we used to say, or I, I tend to say that we are, you may know we are the leaders of beauty worldwide and also in Portugal. And one of the, thing, the things that a leader can do very badly, it's really to uh, fall asleep in its leadership and forget to uh, fight, to be ambitious, to really think out of the box, to really uh, keep pushing the market up and, uh, and uh, getting more and more uh, market share. So one thing which is uh, key, it's really to have a mindset uh, for me, which is very start startup driven. So it's not because I'm in a very in the giant of beauty that I need to do the things as everyone is doing every day. Mm. So we really need this uh, agile mindset, a lot of flexibility, a lot of um, entrepreneurship. I don't know how to say this entrepreneurship. in entrepreneurship. Uh, entrepreneurship. <laughs> um, really to manage the business as if it was yours. This is the type of profile that uh, that we are looking for. Um, so agility, flexibility, a lot of ambition, mm -hmm. and then uh, you need to know uh, that uh, we do things much better if we are together and if we are not uh, one uh, single uh, star, let's say. So really to collabor collaborate, to be able to collaborate, uh, to have the work right... Work as a team, right? Work as Probably, a team, yeah. team spirit is absolutely key in our culture today. So really collaboration is uh, absolutely key and to have uh, the courage uh, to fail, you know, be brave enough and there, uh, there to risks. try uh, new, take risks, fail, don't fail twice, so with the same thing, <laughs> of course, uh, but really it's when we try that we get uh, great things and uh, internally we say shoot for the, for the stars constantly in everything that you do. So uh, I would say okay. this is, uh, uh, this would be, uh, if I would shape a profile, uh, you could be, you could find uh, the profile inside these things that I've been saying. Okay, but right now you don't really have a proper plan for recruitment for next year or anything like that at L'Oréal. It's it's hard. Well, I hope I hope that for next year we will be back on uh, on business as usual. Let's Good. say now we are we are frozen. It doesn't mean that uh, if we have replacements to be done uh, or even a uh, stagiaire, we have recruited the. Uh, um, Stagiaires, uh, you said trainees or interns. Interns yeah. during People the confinement. Yeah. So, yeah. During so the confinement. Happens, so we did the. Uh, actually, I we hired a human resources partner of one of the divisions yeah. during confinement right. by Visio. So it didn't stop. So uh, of course, this agility can't. also uh, plays to us. <laughs> we also we need, need to walk to. the talk. Mm -hmm. voilà. So I think the market. You know, everyone is saying that uh, uh, the markets will be back, uh, I don't know, the economy of the country at around plus 10 like, mm -hmm. next year. Let's see. Yeah. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see. But companies need to uh, keep on reinventing themselves and, uh, and you will have people leaving the company. So we will always need to recruit back. So I think you shouldn't be a fatalist. So you should uh, uh, keep your energy. Uh, keep your pos um, positivity 
And, uh, and I think there will be a lot of uh, opportunities, opportunities coming soon. I agree with you. I think the market will just... See, we'll yeah. need, we'll need people, to... Uh, we need to do new things as well. Voila. The economies need to make lots see, of see, changes. See. Many companies require a lot of mm. transformation. So, so that will come. I'm, I'm quite positive about that. And I know there's one, more there's one more question. See how popular you became since you prepared your cocktail. <laughs> so Elizabeth has a follow-up question, which is also... What is it like to be the CEO of a company like L'Oreal? What would be a regular day in your work life? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that uh, what I don't have is a regular day because each day it's a different day. You know, today I'm here doing cocktails and mocktails <laughs> and speaking to you. Yeah. And tomorrow I may have a day full of meetings in the office or I can be uh, in a seminar. I can be... Uh, discussing with peers in a in a lunch so it's really very very uh elastic let's say when you're the ceo you have two things that you uh that you need to take care of mm -hmm. it's the people your people and it's your business and when it's when it's about the people you have a lot of things you do uh in one to one so you need to be you need to get to know your people Take time with your people to understand uh, how they are feeling. So you need a lot of empathy to understand what's happening, especially in a period like this, which is the COVID. So take time. When I need to take a lot of time to be with people. Mm -hmm. And then I have all the human resources uh, dossiers to deal with my human resources team. But uh, people, it's not only about uh, human resources. It's really a manager's role. And I would say that uh, I think 60% of my time is spent with people. Mm -hmm. And then I have the business part. And in the business part, you can find uh, all the things that you might imagine. I can uh, be in a business review of marketing, of commercial, um, discussing back again uh, uh, the security of the building, you know, during this confinement. I think I spent a lot of time uh, mm. going uh, back and forward on uh, when should we get back to the office, how should we be in the office, the distances, uh, do we have an, uh, an insurance uh, in the case ever, uh, someone needs to go to the hospital for COVID. So it's really absolutely holistic. You need to, it's like we have an expression in uh, L'Oréal, uh, which is, uh, and I will say it uh, in uh, French, which is Les Poètes et les Paysans uh, de L'Oréal. It means like uh, being on the, you know, like an, having the helicopter view in which you do all which is related to strategy, etc. But yes. then you need to come, come down, down to earth. and also yeah. take care of the all the little things because you need to be the the guarantee that, you know, mm -hmm. if you want to park, if you're going to go to the toilet, you need to have toilet paper. So. Right. Everything needs to work, to and at the end the of the day, you're responsible for everything. It's not mm. only the glamour, uh, no. the strategic part. You also have the operational one, and you have the glue of all of these, which is the people, uh, which will make the difference at the end of the day. Yeah, wonderful. Mm. And so, what makes what do you think makes L'Oréal such an attractive place to work in? Like all the surveys say. What is so spe what is so, so special about this company? One thing for sure, I think it's the industry because the, the industry, industry is it's beautiful. No, I, I think we work in the most beautiful industry in the world. Is it crowded which is, with uh, women working there, no. or is it very balanced in terms so of we gender have, as in well? In Portugal, we okay. have uh, fifty four percent of women, yeah, and so the it's rest the it's men. Very so good. it's ready. It's uh, uh, because it's, of all the stereotypes. I'm just see, asking this because sometimes people think, ah, it's all, no, it's the same everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, and, and our CEO, international CEO, is a man. So yeah. you have men, women, and it's very, very balanced. Mm -hmm. So I would say the industry is beautiful. So working yeah. in, beauty, in beauty, it's quite uh, attractive. It's attractive. It's, uh, then uh, it's, uh, it's a company in which you can really, uh, all the transformations that the world um, is living, we are pushing them. So everything which is related to sustainability, everything which is related to digital, uh, e-business, e-com, uh, we are pushing it like crazy. Mm -hmm. So we really we lead these trends in the in the markets. So I mm -hmm. think this is something which is very interesting uh, for everyone who, who joins us, which because people can really have this holistic uh, vision of vision. Uh, of everything. And then when you are when you work at L'Oreal, it's not that you have uh, that your job is totally. Uh, uh, inside the little box. It's really you do your job. Mm -hmm. So if we ask you to be an uh, entrepreneur and to take risks, we give you a frame and then you have the freedom to go within uh, within that frame. And since you are a trainee 
or uh, an intern, you have a lot of autonomy. So I think that's something again, uh, really something good. very yeah. interesting for uh, everyone who joins, joins the company. And then we have all these policies of share and care. Uh, we really take care of people. So we have a lot of benefits uh, that attract to uh, young generations, older generations, and we have different uh, strategies to keep them uh, uh, satisfied. Basically. Satisfied. Yeah. yeah. So you wow. treat your people like customers as well. Yes. In a way. So that's, yes, that's yes, a yes. good way of, si. uh, that's my interpretation si. from what you said. So that's, yeah. that's very good. So can I ask, so I'm going to ask something a bit more personal hmm? in a way, not very personal, but a bit more personal. Is this like your dream job or is there something or something you had planned? Mm. Did this happen by chance? And is there something like a big objective that you still have at some point in your future? Well, frankly, when I entered L'Oreal, mm. I really wanted to come um, into L'Oreal, but I thought I would be a marketing director for yeah. life. Yeah. You know, it might be in L'Oreal, I might change to another to another company after, etc. Didn't happen. And actually, uh, today I, I like much more the business part, so the holistic, the general management, management. Uh, mm -hmm. job, uh, or I like I like There's even more, more variety there. Yeah. And uh, and I, I I think I can uh, luckily enough I think I can say this is uh, for me this is a dream job. I have not for dreamed you, it of is it. a dream job. Yeah. I have Thinking never about. dreamed in my uh, in any dream that I would be the the, the leader of L'Oreal Portugal, for mm -hmm. instance. And uh, but I'm ha very happy to be. And. Uh, and there's a next step. I think I would like to do this in uh, other countries. Well, Maybe, who knows? Uh, yes, who knows? at some point, who knows? Yeah. You have this international thing See. in you. You always wanted to do that too? Never. Move. No, <laughs> never. And so. actually, I said no twice. Okay. And then uh, all of a sudden, I decided to, now I'm ready. I want to uh, make this experience in uh, France, mm -hmm. so in the headquarters. And uh, and I said I want to do it for two years, and then I want to come back. And then are you very are you very confident in general? You feel that's one of your qualities that you are confident. More, more than confident, I think I'm uh, very daring. Daring, I, yeah, be bold, be daring. And I don't uh, I don't plan, so I leave the the day. So uh, you know, if you don't have a lot of expectations, uh, they cannot get. Uh, um, but you react quickly when something happens. See? That's the style. See, yeah, is that the thing that makes you the leader? Or is there a special quality you think you might I think, have? Uh, people driven, empathy, people driven, empathy, yeah. empathy, flexibility, uh, active listening, and uh, and agility. Yeah. I think the, the, those are the big words. qualities, and they're all very important for you as well. And and, uh, and um, patience. I'm oh, very calm. Yes, very I'm calm. I'm very calm. Uh, I don't usually transmit uh, uh, anxiety. anxiety at all. That's true, uh, and I think that's very that's a very uh, that's a strength for uh, for someone who is uh, leading people. I agree with other you. Other business, yeah, mm -hmm. I agree with you fully. So what I'm do what I suggest we do now is that we join Andre, Andre. to complete this. We leave our drinks here to what, and we can drink them afterwards, and um, no and worries. learn how to prepare the third cocktail of today. Yes. yes, Andre. Uh, I'll, I, I can shake a little bit if you want to yes. help. <laughs> it's, it's a or Katya, she's an expert an now expert. on doing all those that, all those uh, components. Uh, ah, this. see, did you see this? <laughs> Sorry, it's, uh, that's ne next time you can do your yeah. stuff. Andre, just do your crazy stuff. We, we are prepared for not that. Today, not, not today. Not Fri today. Friday. 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 The crazy. Friday. There's a promise here yeah. of doing the crazy stuff. Uh, it's the the cocktail that uh, students maybe like it because it's the this cocktail it have it the one ingredient that it's usual very uh, popular yes uh, very popular in in students okay which is, which is beer it's beer uh, yeah, ah. but see, I guess, yeah it's easier right <laughs> you know we usually if, when we don't when we don't have a pandemic situation like right now we usually have twice a year this Gurdown event okay you've yes. heard of that yes. it's like the biggest beer event yeah. in Lisbon <laughs> yes it's here okay so, um, so with beer yes we we start uh, normally we start the ingredient that is uh, most cheap so okay. because if we are, make a mistake it's not uh, very yeah. drastic to to put in the garbage so okay. we put the more cheap there's a manager in you as well yes, there you see <laughs> <laughs> it's finance yeah so 25 milliliter of sugar 
okay. prepare that all of cocktails have sugar because the balance all yeah, the ingredients part of the deal yeah so there's really no happiness without sugar again. in a way <laughs> a little bit you need a little bit of sugar you squeeze you squeeze the lemon one lemon one lemon so yes. you'll do it again yes it's a recreation of daiquiri it's a, it's a recreation of daiquiri, daiquiri. Yes. yes it's lemon sugar we put 50 milliliters of rum repair that the beer it's more cheap like rum but yes we can shake the beer because have bubbles ah. and bubbles in ice in shaker a big party <laughs> oh really <laughs> yes oh my god so how do you do it ice in shake it with the Close rum very well with the rum yes i don't know how do with you the do present. this Yes, of course. But not like you. You're very I strong. And he'll do the finish. We do the first part, and he. We put uh. one hand in the in the um, back and one hand in the up, and the movement ah, is like, like that. Like that, very strong. See, there's the technique there. Very good. This will not explode. No. I mean, imagine with the gas and the bubbles yeah. and all that, and now that's okay. So we have this prepared already. Yes, you know, the glass, and there you go. So if I wanted to do this with the beer thing, no, it's now we put in we're the gonna, beer. We're going to do it afterwards, not inside the shaker. That's if you want a disaster at home. If we you want to not party. recommend, so no, we don't. We don't. <laughs> no, no, we don't want to. Just the top. Of beer. Okay. It's normal beer. It's regular yeah, yeah, beer. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lager beer. Lager beer. So with the spoon, we mix. Just simple. Very and nice. Voila. Hey, voila. voila. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we can try this one as well as we drink our our cocktails right now. And I think that we are. Thank you, Andre. Tomorrow thank we meet again yes. for another. <laughs> Tomorrow it's with uh, Sandra Vera Cruz. Mm -hmm. She's the CEO or country manager of Coca Cola Portugal. And we have and, um, with Coca Cola. We have a cock We have cocktail and a mo and mocktail with uh, Coca, -Cola. Coca Cola Zero yes. okay. Zero. And then we will add the sugar separately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will do Coca Cola Zero, and then we will add the sugar. Out. Of course, she doesn't know that detail. She will only understand <laughs> afterwards, perhaps. Who knows? And um, all I have to say right now is thank you, Katya. I You're think welcome. it's been very interesting, very good to know you a bit better, to know more about your CV, to listen to some tips that you have given our students, to know more about L'Oreal and the opportunities in the beauty industry. That's also very appealing to all of us. It's part of our health and of our well-being. So that's very important. Thank you so much Thank you. for joining Thank us. You, I Thank hope you. it wasn't too painful. No, no, it was a pleasure for us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.